Exclamation, everybody. Welcome to Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I This is a sort of new occasional series that I'm going to do. Uh, it's very similar to my um, uh, Minecraft Plus series, uh, except that I am... I, I was inspired recently to sort of create a map, kinda. <laughs> In other words, I wanted to make a adventure map, but didn't want to put all the time and effort into it. So what I've done is, as you can see, I'm in creative mode here, and I've created a the uh, victory monument to end all victory monuments. <laughs> Essentially, it's a, you know, create the monument map, um, and I've incorporated all kinds of different items from the game in here, including wools and uh, stained glass, uh, the ores themselves, uh, plus a few other things such as my armor wall here and whatnot. Um, the chests above are also, you know, part of this, but I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later. Pretty much, I felt like uh, updating my version of Minecraft and, uh, you know, playing around in vanilla for a little bit. Although, I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to stay vanilla. Um, I may end up putting some mods in here. But for right now, um, this is the way it stands. That is my nether portal to get back here. That's the only way I can get back here. Um, I don't have anything built in a nether. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the scatter, uh, scatter players command to uh, basically warp, warp myself out into the world and start from there. Now, first of all, I'm going to turn keep inventory on because, you know, just say no to corpse runs, kids. They're, it's a lazy game mechanic and made by lazy people, so just don't. Don't uh, settle for that. Also, the idea behind this is that I'm creating this monument in order to restore sunlight to the world. So uh, what I'm doing right now is setting it to midnight here, and I am turning off the day-night cycle. So it will be permanently nighttime uh, until such time as I complete this monument. So, there you go. And uh, I'm going to stay in creative mode just until I warp, because uh, in some of my tests it'll actually warp you into solid blocks. So, on the off chance that it does that, I, uh, I'm going to stay in creative until I notice that I'm somewhere relatively safe, and then switch back to survival. So, okay, I am out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> that actually probably went better than I than my last test. So, there you go. Um, first things first, I need to get myself into survival mode. There we go. And uh, I am playing on normal, so... This is not hard mode. And my goal now is to go swim and find some land. So once I have done that, I'll come back in and we'll continue this discussion. Okay, it looks like we finally have come upon some land. As you can see, I'm way out in the world here, negative uh, 57,000. Um, and that is, uh, it's actually further than I had anticipated, but uh, I guess the command works a little bit differently than I had thought it did. Uh, regardless, uh, some of the rules uh, around this, and hopefully I remember these rules, we'll, we'll see, because, uh, you know, I will probably forget at some point in time, and then I'll have to throw away anything that I've done wrong. But some of the rules I've set up for myself... I can't craft a weapon. Uh, I can repair weapons, 
I can, you know, combine them. But really, I have to get them from drops or from loot. I can't actually create them myself. The one caveat to that is uh, bows and arrows. Or, well, arrows I can create. Um, bows I can create as long as it's part of another recipe. So, for instance, you need bows in order to do droppers. Okay? And droppers are one of the things that I need for the monument. So, I can craft a bow in order to, to do a dropper, but I can't craft a bow to use it as a weapon. So, that's the only caveat to that. Everything else is I can craft tools, um, all the tools that I need, but I can't craft weapons. I also cannot craft armor. So, no armor at all. Uh, I have to, any armor that I wear, it has to be something dropped from a mob. Same with swords and stuff. Any weapons I use, they have to be dropped from a mob, or they have to be something that I found in a chest. Those are some of the rules that I've set up for myself here. And already, I'm running into a ton of mobs here, and I'm my heart's already kind of racing. <laughs> Probably for the first time in a long time in Minecraft here. Um, again, I'm on normal, so, you know... I won't die from hunger, but it will take me down to a half a heart. Uh, same with poison as well, unless it's the straw that broke the camel's back. We found some horses here too, which is nice, but I just don't have any use for them at the moment. My first goal will be to find myself a a nice cave to call home. Oh, oh. That, that, that witch saw me. That, that's actually the first time I've encountered a witch in the game, naturally. Um, I, I understand that they're now a natural spawn, from what I understand from the the new 172 stuff. So, there you go. That's my first encounter, is running away from them. Uh, and then of course, all the mobs, that, that you know, you got the zombie hordes now and all that stuff, which I haven't experienced yet, so that'll, this will all be new stuff for me. Uh, the the last version of Minecraft that I've used is the one with uh, FTB, uh, which I think is one one four. I think I think it was for the for the Minecraft uh, FTB uh, pack. So I haven't uh, all these horses and stuff like that. I haven't actually dug into yet. So this will be my first foray into that. Um. What I need, though, before I do anything else, is to find a tree, which, uh, because I got scattered out further into the world than I had anticipated, uh, I think I'm going to have trouble finding some trees. <laughs> Just from what I know from, from the normal game. Also, I've, um, I've turned large biomes on, so... When I create this world, I create it with large biomes uh, before I built the monument and whatnot. So that I, that'll also add another, I think, level of difficulty because I won't. I'll have to travel long distances at nighttime, um, presumably, in order to find all the resources resources I'm going to need. And this guy is going to hit me if I don't get out of here. All right, so far so good. Okay, so what what do we have over here? Other than the beginnings of a desert. Let's see, uh, nope, nope, that spider sees me. All right, let's get our run on here. I'm trying to trying to explore this this area but uh, it's oh oh no 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 ow come on ow <laughs> uh, all these all these mobs all of them uh, that guy had some nice armor but I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna stop to ask him for it uh, ow <laughs> this is this is not going so well <laughs> right now <laughs> Captain Obvious strikes again um, okay, 
So I, I desperately need some kind of tree somewhere. Somewhere, anywhere. That would be nice. Preferably one that's not surrounded by mobs. <laughs> Alright, I think I've pretty much explored this this island, so I'm going to hit the water here and uh, see if I can encounter another island along the way, hopefully with a tree. I'll be right back. Alright, I've been swimming for quite some time here, and it looks like there's another island coming into view here. Hopefully, hopefully, there will be a tree here. My hunger is already pretty bad. Um, so I'm not going to be able to run around too much. Uh, it's not looking very promising. Is there anything here? Anything at all? I think what I'm going to need to do is find a... I mean, once I find a tree, I'm going to have to find a nice little hidey hole for myself and uh, try my best to survive at first before I could find a cave. I was hoping to really hoping to come across a cave along the way here but well I mean I wasn't going to come across one in the water per se but uh, I was hoping to come across a cave and jump in there and make a home out of it preferably one near a lot of resources that I need but so far it's been pretty slim pickings here and that, it's a shame that that is a skeleton because I would totally murder him for his armor, but it's not going to go so well for me, particularly with the new skeletons. Alright, let's try to skirt around here a little bit. Make a landfall without being seen. And is that, is that lava? It's, yep. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> oh, oh, that guy knows about me. All right. Yeah, I hear you, guy. Uh, see if I can make get a little bit of distance away from him. All right. There has to be a tree around here somewhere. Just, just one. That's all I really need. <laughs> Just one. Otherwise, this is going to be the shortest series known to man. <laughs> By the way, if I do die before um, uh, before putting a bed down, um, I'll just I've already set the world spawn to where I start at the episode, so I'll just end up back there, and then I have to uh, hit the old scatter button and try again. <laughs> Maybe a, that might even be a, a good idea. I, although I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to purposely go and you know, since I have the keep inventory turned off, turned on, uh, I'm not gonna try to go and purposely kill myself just to get better placement. I am gonna try my best to stay alive, regardless of where I end up here. And that's the other. Uh, mechanic of the game is I have a nether portal set up and I have gone through it to make sure that it was set up properly on the other side you know it's two-way uh, which it actually wasn't so I had to do a little finagling to make it a two-way two-way door um, but I have not uh, you know obviously I set it up and then that's that I don't know I didn't know where I would end up in the world so obviously there's no other building going on there but that is, my intention is for that to be the only way back to that platform. There is no other stair step around there or anything. In fact, the door that you saw only had a button on the other side. Um, and it's, it has bedrock around it to prevent me from digging through it. So, that is the, that's the idea. Is that in order to get back to the monument... You either have to die without a bed, without having set a bed, which I, I intend to set a bed as soon as I can. 
And if you do it that way, the only way back into the world is to scatter. Or you have to make it back through the nether. And then, even then, once you've gone back there, the only way back out is to hit the scatter button. Um, you're not allowed to just kill yourself there and end up back in your bed. You have to actually hit the scatter button. So it's it sort of makes it a little bit different than normal where I uh, I want to gather as many resources as I can before going back to the monument. Ow. And then, uh, ow, stop hitting me. Um, because once I go back there, I'm probably not going to end up back where I started from. So that is my incentive to sort of leave that for as long as I can. You know, these guys. Oh, and there goes my, there goes my hunger bar. All right. We're now in, a, in an interesting predicament. I've found trees, but they are well defended. This is uh, not going quite to plan. <laughs> Can I somehow, some way, get at least one of these trees, at least a piece of one of these trees? Let's see. I hear, I hear that zombie coming. There we go. Got one, one wood plank or one wood uh, log here. Let's try to retreat a little bit. Is he still coming? Yeah, he's still coming for me. All right. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight this guy with my, <laughs> with my only weapon, a sugar cane. Oh, there's two of them now. All right. Well, well. Yep. This is this is going to be a thing. This probably will be my death. <laughs> Come on, zombies, eat sugar. <laughs> give you, give you high cholesterol. Come on. Come here. Oh boy. Well, this this may not end well. 